Hi, and welcome to Paper Root Scrapbooking. I'm Nadine, and today I am sharing with you a little haul video from my birthday. All right, so I am technically on a spending freeze, um, self-imposed, and not because I can't really afford to buy new things, but more because I'd really like to get a handle on the things I already own. Um, however, one of the stipulations I gave myself was, uh, first of all, tools, inks, and those kinds of things, uh, white cardstock, albums, page protectors, those things are not on my list of things to not bring in. Mostly I was talking about, when I say spending freeze, I'm talking about consumables. So paper, die cuts, stickers, alphas, etc., etc. So... Some of this stuff definitely sticks to the guidelines, but some of it was just splurge items because it was my birthday and none of this was out of my own pocket, so to speak. So I had saved up some of my uh, Christmas gift cards and combined them with my birthday gift cards because my birthday is in February. And all of the things finally just came, like the last of it arrived today. So I thought I'm gonna jump on and share it with my friends because who better to share my excitement over my scrappy goodies than my YouTube friends because <laughs> nobody in my house cares. <laughs> the dog certainly doesn't care. My husband's like, yeah, that's nice, honey. He likes to look at the finished product. He does not understand this part of it at all. Um, but he was generous and gave me um, a weekend away with my mom in May, which is really exciting. Um, we're going to the Great Canadian Scrapbook Carnival. And um, he also gave me a little bit of spending money. So this is what I bought with some of my uh, cash money that I got. And I just threw it in my account and spent it at Jennifer Edwardson Creative Inc. Because she was having a little sale. And the thing that really drew me in was this Warm Wishes album. Because I had looked for one and I couldn't find any. And I have extra pages left over from the Warm Wishes album I did before. And I kind of want it either, I haven't decided yet. I might use them for next year or I might go back and do 2020 in this album. So I have to look at my pictures and see if it's worth it. Because my son's family's 2020 Christmas probably wasn't any more interesting than mine so maybe not maybe it's going to be a future thing um because that's this is the format that I do um the album for his family in so super excited about finding that and she had it on sale for 25 dollars you guys I paid 40 something for the other one like for the when I originally took the event and I paid access only and bought all my own stuff which was silly because Vicky sells it for a much much reduced price so anyways excited about this so I'm going to put all of my extra overflow pages into this album which is kind of cool so there's that and that's an that's a considered an album so that doesn't break my rules about not buying consumables she always gives a little gifty she um has done pencils and a ruler and now a little stick I think these are sticky Oh, no, nope, just a notepad. Super cute. Love it. Always need a notepad. Who doesn't love stationery? If I think if you love scrapbooking, you probably also love stationery. And you probably loved stationery before you loved scrapbooking. Uh, okay, and then I got a set of thickers that were on sale. And they're just plain white thickers that she had on clearance. Um, and then I got a couple of these. Um, I really love this Boho Baby collection, but since I'm kind of like not buying paper and my baby iris container is full of paper already, I thought I'm just gonna buy the page pieces and use papers that I already own and make a page out of these colors because I just love them so much. And then I did the same thing with this uh, with all my heart. I also really liked the colors in this collection but I was like I have all of those colors of paper I just need the page pieces and I can make um, my own little kit to make I and this is a really good way to like 
fill that need for like I always want to buy the whole collection and this is a really good way for me to be like you don't need the whole collection you'll get these pieces find your paper and put it together now she also had a sale let's do this one first part of her sale was um, I can't remember how much they were I have to look now but it was like random papers so you buy like a pack I think this was a pack of 25 if I'm not mistaken let me see where's the well tell me on the thingy right um assorted paper pack it doesn't say how many hey okay. I lied I couldn't tell you so, and it's just assorted papers. So, um, I haven't looked through these yet, but I think these are from Evergreen and Holly, which is awesome because um, I'm almost out of 12 by 12 papers from that, and I want to continue scrapbooking Christmas. So, that's exciting. So, I got how many from that? One, two, three, four four sheets from Evergreen and Holly. And you know what? I have my Evergreen and Holly stuff sitting right beside my desk because i that's what I did my layout with earlier today. I'm just gonna tuck it in there. That's awesome. Okay, in. Done like dinner. Pink Fresh. I think the last time I bought this, I got some Pink Fresh too. And this is how I end up, look at my hands are so filthy. Oh my God. Oh, it was a fun day. Okay. Uh, yeah. So this is how I end up with like boatloads of paper <laughs> is because I'm like, oh, these papers only work out to be 25 cents a sheet. I'm going to buy those. But like, tell me this isn't usable, right? Totally usable. What's on the back of this? Usable. Not totally sold on that, but totally could use that. Um, I would probably use the blue. And these are all from the same collection, so they all go together. This is cute. It's like a pink and green stripe, diagonal stripe. And very cute also. I like the navy. And here's a second sheet of that bike one. Where was that? I'll put them together. Maybe there's doubles. Um, there it is. It's cute, hey? <clears throat> there we go. Okay, what else we got? Let's, I see more pink fresh. Oops. Now I have something stuck. There we go. Is this the same collection or different collection? This is the holiday collection. Oh, you know what? I have little bits of that. So that's cool because I just bought a few embellishments for it and thought I could just find my own paper. So I'll put that in there. That's exciting. What's this one? Jen Hadfield. I think I have some of this collection too, so I'll add this to it. Very nice. What do we have here? That's more of that Jen Hadfield, I recognize it. And that's, yeah, that goes with that collection too. I'll put that all together. And then it looks like we have some busy sidewalks, crepe paper, oh, I like that. I could use a hundred of those. It's like, a, it's like a teal, it's hard to see on camera. It's like a teal, I'm sorry about the lighting in here. It's, yeah, anyway, we'll work on it. It's a teal ledger paper, which is awesome. And I think a lot of this was included in the Warm Wishes kit that Vicky did too, so I'll probably go in there. What are these? Oh, Simple Stories Hello Today. I've seen this before and I thought it was a really cool idea. January, February, and August but I always use the B-sides anyways. But you know what this would be really cute for? A birthday. This would make a great birthday layout. I'm gonna throw it in with my birthday stuff. So that's that, and who doesn't love a little surprise, right? These ones are 
There's no, they're just loose papers. I feel like they came from a paper pad, maybe. So that's what you get in the surprise pack. Did I count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty, plus the so twenty-five sheets. So that's what that was, a little bundle of 25 sheets. The thing I like about hers, too, is that it's not, like, ancient stuff, you know? Like, it's all within the last year or so. So I like that. Okay, set that over here. And then she also does these collection kits. And I haven't bought one in a while just because so much comes in them and... Um, I need to use the ones I already have, but when I saw this one and it was on sale, I can't remember what the price was, but it was so marked down. So when she creates the kits, it's kind of like buying a collection pack and some of the embellishments with cardstock. And so it all comes together. She puts the things together and sells it for kind of a lower price. So what you would pay for like a collection pack plus the die cuts plus, 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 it's at a reduced price. And then you buy it as a kit. And then because this one maybe had been in her store for a while or maybe because it's from summertime or whatever, she put it way marked down. And th yeah, this is from 2021. So only like a couple of years old, not even. And um, so I, the reason I got this is because my littles, um, they love going to the farm. So they have a, a great aunt that has a farm. They like this place called Rounds Ranch. Um, they love going out there, petting the animals, playing with the animals. They go out there a few times a year. Um, it's also where they go for pumpkins and all that sort of thing. Um, they like to go strawberry picking and apple picking and all of those things. So I thought this um, kind of a collection, I've been thinking about it for a while that I wanted something like it. And uh, yeah, so when I saw this at such a reduced price, I was like, yes, please. So this includes, let me show you, um, the papers. So one, two, three, four, five. Hang on, I'm making a mess of it. Three, four, five, nope. Can't do it that way either. Oh, my fingers are not working today. I have numbness in my one hand, so sorry about that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So that's even more than when you buy the collection pack. I think it comes with twelve. So there's fourteen sheets of patterned paper in here. And if if you buy open stock now in Canada, it's anywhere from a dollar sixty-five to two dollars, depending on where you go and which um, company it was ordered from. And then she sends cardstock. So fourteen sheets of patterned paper. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six different um, coordinating cardstocks. And I love, love, love these Swiss dot that she has. So the um, Basil Basics in Swiss dot, I just love those. This one's just a regular textured. We got a black, we got a cardstock. We have another Basil textured. So nice. And uh, I could just throw these stickers, or these letter stickers right in there, hey, like it totally goes. So the papers, I'm sure everybody's seen this collection because it's been around for a while, but um, definitely perfect for like going to the farm and for their auntie's farm. They like to go out to their auntie's farm and feed the, the cows and the chickens. My little granddaughter has no fear either. She just like picks up those chickens and walks around with them and I'm like, oh Lord, it's <laughs> terrifying to me, but it's really funny. Um, yeah, I guess if you're raised around that. what You know what, though? I was raised to go to the farm often, and I just, no, no, <laughs> not my jam. Not my jam. So I like that. There's two of these uh, black plaid, and there's two of these 
wood grain. So nice, nice, nice. That's a great place to put doubles. I love that. She's really, the beauty is she's also a scrapbooker. She's not just a scrapbook supplier. She's, she actually uses her products. Uh, Red Alpha to go with the collection came with it. A stencil, um, the farmer's market stencil. And then we got the die cut pack. Uh, this one is Farmer's Market Frames and Tags. It's got a lot of little pieces in there. How many does it say? 33 pieces. This is also 33 pieces, and it has a bunch of little banners and stuff in there. And this one is Farmer's Market Ephemera. I like the little jars. That's really cute. Okay, so that is what I got from Jennifer Edwardson Creative Ink with my little... Um, little bundle of spending money and then I went on Amazon dun, 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 and I bought some of these because my goal is to have one in each one for each color for my uh, not for these flat ones but for the domed ones and I found a sale um, after Christmas that had these I uh, I think it was 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 12 of them. And I can't remember exactly what I paid, but um, I used my Christmas money for that. But they just arrived, like the, the package arrived a couple of days ago. So, and it came in two packages. I don't know why. It was weird. Like one came one day and one came another day. <laughs> Who knows? <clears throat> um, so that's tools again so not necessarily out of my do I need one handle for everything no but is it going to make my life easier yes am I going to use my inks more yes because because this because because I am not coordinated and neat and um yeah anyway this is not my favorite um then I also got some more fine line bottles because one of mine, um, I don't know what happened to it, but it, like it's pouring, the glue is pouring out the side of it, like between the yellow and the white part. And they come in a pack of two, so I always have two, but I have one in my craft room that stays on my desk. And then I have one in my tote that I take with me when I scrapbook away from home. So I like to have two. Right now I only have one. And every time I leave the house, I forget to bring it. So I was like, I'm going to buy another one. So that was also from Amazon. And I had an Amazon gift card for, for those purchases. Um, now, I went to a craft store. Okay, first this. This is um, when I got my print shop stuff from Vicky. There was an issue with my ephemera pack um a few of the pieces so th like these bigger pieces were all warped and it was like they had been wet and then dried and they did not lay flat and so um I was like well that sucks and then I went she had what this on one of her layouts from the class and they didn't have it in my pack so I was like okay so I made my own whatever and then the third time I was like okay this is the third thing that's wrong I don't know why the snail but um, I was missing these also and so I was like okay <laughs> the third time that I can't find what I need or the thing is not proper I'm like okay I'm gonna send in a complaint and a lot of people would be like, well, even if you were just missing a piece, no, well, I don't, I, I tend not to, because I feel like it's a um, time sucker, I guess. But I did communicate with this person. They had me do all jump through a couple of hoops and then they sent me only the die cuts that were damaged and missing. They didn't send me a whole new ephemera pack. So that's what you get if you call into American Crafts for, um, damaged or missing product so there you have it that's what that is I didn't that obviously didn't cost me anything extra but I left it there because it was in my stack of things to put away um, T-square uh, again 
I like to have one in my desk drawer and one in my uh, tote. And so I've had two rulers forever and ever, um, one in my desk and one in my tote. But I've been finding that when I'm out and about and scrapbooking, I want my T-square and I don't have it. So I bought a second one to go in my carry away stuff. There's that. Again, tools, right? Okay, and then I went, when I went thrifting, we also stopped at the craft store. And I told my friend before we drove out of town, I said, if we go to the craft store and I buy paper, you need to like throw punch me because I don't need paper. And she saw me picking this up and said, I'm supposed to throat punch you, but I'm afraid the lady at the desk will call the cops. <laughs> um, so, any, no, I'm just kidding. She's, it was fine. She's like, nah, it's fine. I get it. I forgive you. You're, anyway, so they had Paige Evans um, on clearance, 30% off. The Bungalow Lane stuff. And I had bought a few pieces of the Bungalow Lane. Or no, I'd gotten it through... I think crop and create and I started making layouts with it and I just loved it so much so um, I still have some of the ephemera but I didn't have any of the paper left and so I bought more of the paper and I think yeah paper. and then I had a couple of other sheets of this uh, paper line called daydreamer from Kaiser craft and I think I got them from like the bundle I just showed you from Jennifer Edwardson from something like that where I like bought a bundle and I really like the colors in it but I only had two sheets so I bought these two sheets to go with it and I really like the rain clouds and I really like the b-side and I really 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 like this so I'm gonna put them all together and make myself a little mini kit I also could not leave this beautiful this is a Christmas paper but I couldn't leave this beautiful wood grain for 30% off without taking at least one home with me which is silly because I have tons of wood grain paper but you know again I had a prepaid visa to take with me and it didn't really cost me anything and I also bought the chipboard pieces for the Paige Evans uh, bungalow lane and they are so cute I just I can think of so many things that I could do with these I just yeah they're pretty and they have copper foil which is my favorite kind of foil and then one of the things on my list of uh, exceptions for paper was baseball because I have a ton of baseball photos from some trips we took because we went we really like to go to I, I like I like Major League Baseball um, I don't really enjoy watching it on TV as much but I love to be at the games and so when we're in Toronto sometimes we'll go and we also went in LA and Seattle. Um, anyways, I, I know that this is like specific to a team and we did not see this team play. However, if you look at the B sides on here, um, like this black, totally usable. Even this side, if you put a different or a, a brand, like a strip of pattern paper across here nobody's gonna know the difference a lot of the stuff that's on here is very um specific to the team however this diagonal stripe i love a diagonal stripe and it's totally usable same with this one the baseballs on the back are usable uh, this page both sides are usable this one um again i think i could make use of it maybe not it might be a throwaway paper or I might use it just to like back things like mount photos or whatever this one same thing just have to put something over top of the diamond backs right or maybe someday I'll see them play who knows but I did purchase that and it was also 30% off so I got it for real cheap and I think that's oh and you know what else I bought I had a hundred dollar gift card for vickybooten.com and so I used that to help me purchase which is another thing that's on my exceptions phone because I have to have exceptions <laughs> um the Vicky Booten event coming up in the 
I don't know, do you call that spring, summer? Um, I think it's in June. I don't remember. But the going places one. And so, yeah, I used that towards my going places event kit. So I'm excited about that too. So that's it for me. I just wanted to share that with somebody who would uh, maybe enjoy it as much as I do. And like, I know some of you like this kind of video and some of you don't. So if you stuck with me, thank you so much for doing so. And um, I will leave links to some of my favorite um, places to shop for scrapbook stuff in Canada down below because I was in a group chat with some people from Ginger's Corner today that are also from Canada and I realized that um, a lot of people don't know where to go and they've been ordering from the U.S., which is getting more and more expensive, especially now that they're charging um, shipping plus when it crosses the border, they charge us again for duty. Um, yeah, so that's it for today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye for now.